everyone welcome back to my channel indigo moonlight divine guidance i am dg tarot my name is stephanie and i will be your reader today and your twin flame coach and guide thank you so so much for coming back here um you guys are a blessing i appreciate you all very much i know i've been out for a while but i've been preparing for some things and I've been kind of working with the energy there's been a lot of drainage like drainage feelings from energy lately been feeling kind of sleepy and tired so I wanted to give you guys the best and utmost energy and to update some things for you guys so this setup that you see today is kind of like a throwback to my um, old readings that I used to do so in 2019 when I started on YouTube um, I had this set up much like this where I had everything against the wall everything facing that way and of course I had like an iPhone 6s and it was way different than the 12 I have now um lighting's different and a lot of different things that I've grown and used over the years so this is my little throwback from the beginning of my readings um you can check those out and look back as well from a couple years ago um and they are a little bit <laughs> outdated or you know not as crisp but they're still really good readings um but i just wanted to kind of bring this back for a while and work with some new scenery with this beautiful painting in the background and the lighting and everything here and that you guys can see everything set up so um today's reading is going to be of course twin flames i do specialize in love readings and twin flames this is your divine masculine to divine feminine or the dm to df which we all um, like to place on our readings here um, and this is going to be for the upcoming portals as well so the 717 portal which opens union which opens a lot of energy we're going to see what exactly is going to open up in this connection for you guys in separation um, any karmic energies and for the future of this connection what can you expect that kind of deal so that's kind of the first announcement um, and I'll have some timestamps below so you guys can skip over right onto the reading if you like. Um, but I'm going to also bring, start bringing back fa my Fantasy Fridays uh, and Feminine Fridays and kind of switch on and off with that as well. Um, and I'm going to do these at some different times to give those who are in other countries and time zones um, to give you guys a chance to catch the premieres and stuff like that. Otherwise, you can find all of my videos down uh, in my channel. So, and I also recommend looking in the description for how you can win free readings. I still have that going on, free readings, my free decks, or merchandise. Um, and you can find all of those links in the description below. If you are interested in personal readings from me, you want to get a portal reading, you want to get some kind of personal, more personalized for you, for your sign, and for your situation, um, my readings are there for you as well to order on my Etsy shop. Okay, so... Um, and I'm going to put up some as well, uh, m some more of the, um, the voting, the, put up some votes for you guys in my community board um, on if you guys would like me to do like more singles readings, if you guys want me to um, do more separation karmics, I'm going to kind of put some uh, ideas out there for you guys and y'all can vote on the one you want to see the most um, or that you want to see more of. And also hit your notification bells for upcoming All Signs Twin Flames live readings that I'm going to be doing for you guys. Okay, so, and you can look in my description for, um, I'm adding a couple of things like recommended tarot readers on YouTube. Who are my favorite? Um, who do I think I resonate with the most with Twin Flames and the highest energy and highest vibration? And also recommended Oracle and Tarot decks for you guys too. So, with those out of the way, I don't want to, um, I don't want you guys to leave me so soon. I know everybody wants to get into the reading, but again, there are timestamps for that. So these are all my decks, guys. This one is really, really popular right now. Um, and that one is out there along with all the others. I'm going to be using them all today. Um, and lastly, I have this one, um, on sale at its lowest price. They are priced to sell, and we're going to use them today as well. So we will um, get started with your reading here, and we'll start with the tarot as we usually do. Ooh. 
So you guys like, share, and subscribe to support the channel, my readings, and for a chance to win a free reading from me or one of my decks or merchandise. So all of those options will be there for you guys. Okay, so let's start with your tarot. What is going on? What can you expect? What's going on with the Divine Masculine right now? And what is the energy for those portals, the 717, the Union, and the Lion's Gate? And of course, I'll do a Lion's Gate on Lion's Gate as well, and the 717. But we're going to kind of dive into that energy now and see what you can expect and what is going on in separation. Divine Masculine. Oh, we have a tower. This is pretty intense. And you can also see that the death card is the overall energy for this reading. Um, and we don't have any arcanas, major arcanas on the top. Okay, so, wow, initially what I saw was, was the Eight of Wands. So... Your masculine currently is in a position of action, okay? Your connection is receiving a boost um, of energy for action for your masculine. So they feel like they want to take a risk or a leap through in love with their heart. They want to follow these arrows of love to you in this connection, to their desires, to their heart, to their queen of cups, which this is feminine um, warmth and comfort type of energy with this water energy here so with the eight of wands this is impulsive action this is um a desire an intensity in the desire a boost of energy for quick action and that is where your masculine is at when it comes to you that they have this incredible desire this intense desire to come towards you to act very quickly maybe even without thinking about it because I see they're in a lot of pain and there's a lot of struggle and tension um currently with whatever situation they're in karmically third parties um or whether they are single but they are dealing with um, familial karmic situations or doesn't have to be a lesson karmic situation could just be that there are some blocks in the connection but again this queen of cups is where they're at guys um your masculine i feel is really um encouraged or they're really thinking a lot a lot about you and a lot about the love energy and the warmth that they felt when they were with you and because they lost you there's a lot of regret here and your masculine is in deep deep thought about how you made them feel and they're really truly missing that energy right now not even just you know because they can feel your energy anytime they want you guys are always connected but they miss the physical presence as well. And they're in deep contemplation about that. And the five of cups, um, you have the cups spilled over here, the two still turned upright. They have missed this opportunity with you and they're in a, a thought process or, or they're thinking a lot about how much they missed and that they regret deeply these decisions and choices they made. Um, to not act towards you. So I feel like they have regret for not acting, for not um, taking that chance and grabbing opportunity to be with you or messed up that opportunity to be with you and chose another person or chose another thing in their life that they felt was more important. And again, it's all about the lessons being learned here to you know raise that frequency. But during this time in separation, your masculine is missing you greatly and they're in deep regret about not taking that opportunity and action when they had the chance. They missed that opportunity and they're very sad about it, in a lot of pain about it, um, just a deep, deep regret. And the Eight of Wands is kind of, like I said, it's pushing them back to that now. Like, I don't wanna miss this opportunity again. Your masculine does not want to miss that. And, um, you know, they want to, 
definitely move forward in that way. And then here is temperance, our beautiful, lovely temperance that is always with us in this twin flame journey to remind us of that divine timing, to remind us of balance, the triangle which symbolizes that balance here, and the pouring of the cups back and forth symbolizes the need to make that balance, to create it, to um, come to a middle a path or middle ground with your twin to make space for that time for them to heal. You know, this water represents healing as well. Um, so I truly feel that this divine timing here, um, there's going to be made space for this union. There's going to be made space for, you know, that reconciliation when it's the right time. And of course we have the famous tower here with <laughs> your masculine so there has been current or is currently a a destruction like tower moment that has occurred for your masculine you could be mirroring this so you may as well feel that tower moment you may feel the pain you may feel the loss um but your masculine is having everything swept kind of from um underneath them at the moment and they have fallen hard or this is you know that energy that that portal 717 is and the lion's gate is really going to push for them that um is going to be a huge wake-up call for them or already is in the current process um and definitely there's going to be a lot of hurt and pain for them it's going to open their eyes though to see that they need to take this action instead of missing these opportunities like they did in the past with you this is really going to push your masculine to take the leaps and risks and to follow their heart um, and to be where they truly want to be with you. So this is a, a divine intervention. Um, this is a separation. It could be a breakup from a karmic um, person. Usually that is a huge indication of that. And look at that. We have a lot of major arcanas here, the temperance, the tower, and the death card, which we saw as the overall energy. So guys, um, these lessons, these, this divine intervention tower moment, um, that karmic partnership, um, anything blocking the connection is coming to an end to make room and space for a new beginning, a fresh start for you guys in this connection. So there will be a renewal here. There will be transformation for your masculine from the past. Okay, and um, it's going to give them an energy and a push they need to take the action um, when the opportunity presents itself to be with you. So this is kind of where we're at with our tarot. And then, of course, we are going to... Why do I feel like I'm missing my tech? I am. I had it just a minute ago. Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, let's go with our Sacred Spirit Tarot. What else is going on for this portal? What are the other energies and messages that I'm going to go through? We have the Queen of Pentacles, Comfort Earth Mother. So they are really, truly missing that connection with you. That comfort that they felt, that femininity that they felt with you. We have Ambition Page of Pentacles for Romantic Offer. So your masculine definitely has that offering here for you. Um, and they're very determined we had, you know, passionate and ambition, ambitious to come forward towards you. So again, we're kind of getting that mirroring from the tarot, the um, our Rider Way tarot of <laughs> their feelings about you and about this connection. So we have a romantic offer coming up uh, for you from them, messages, you know, t telepathic messages, but physical as well. Um, so we have some... A lot of, I want to say pentacles is that earth energy. 
So a lot of earth energy here. And let's see what else we have. Look at that, the Five of Cups again. Loss and loneliness. So this is the same one where the cups are spilled over. So they are really grieving over this loss of you right now, feeling the loneliness, the void without the feminine. They are really, really intensely feeling and regretting that missed opportunity and that loss of you. Wow. <laughs> So that is twice with that energy, guys. We have the Three of Cups for meeting and celebration. So you could definitely be looking at a reunion here, reconciliation. Be looking for events that might bring you and the masculine together. So out of all this loss and loneliness and, um, you know, regret, there is going to come a time in your connection where you and the masculine come back together in celebration of your love, in celebration of a reconciliation or of union. Eight of Cups, walking away. So your masculine is going to make that choice to walk away from what's no longer serving in this connection, from what is no longer meant to be there. We have the moon here to kind of be a guide and to um, <laughs> work with the masculines in intuition and subconscious to really help and push them to make that decision. So the masculine here is walking away towards a higher purpose. And we will get one more here for you. And look at that, the Four of Wands reunion, soul connection. So this is a reunion with your masculine, that soul connection. Um, <laughs> and like I said, celebration meeting. And I believe we said that exact thing, that there will be a celebration of a reconciliation or of a reunion. Um, so it's pretty incredible to receive those together like that um, for this reading. So a reunion, they're walking away, they really truly miss you, miss that comfort and warmth. Um, and they have this offering that they're looking to bring to you um, when this reunion time comes through. Yeah, so that Lion's Gate and all of that energy is really, really pushing that energy for your masculine to take the steps that they did not, that they missed, that they did not take when they had the chance. Okay, so Divine Masculine. And look at that, the Four of Cups, deep regret, missed opportunities, sorrow and remorse. So that is in a nutshell what we're talking about here. Um, this deep regret that your masculine has really been, um, has, has been internalizing and um, just feeling intensely inside and there's a lot of sorrow and they regret what has happened with you guys. However, that has played out, you know, the wheel, destiny, fate, and karmic cycle. So, you know, what has been occurring has been this um, karmic cycle. The wheel has been spinning around and around and you guys have been going through these cycles, the hot and the cold and the push and the pull. Um, and we have death for endings. So these karmic cycles are aligned and faded to lay out their time and then to end to make room for divine union unconditional love and for those the twin flames so this destiny here um is really where it's at i mean this is lining aligning the way it is meant to and here the twin flames divine union so everything is being tossed about, thrown around, everything is, um, uh, there's a word for it, but ev everything is in destruction mode that is no longer serving the connection and is going to, um, is going to, 
or anything that has been, I guess, blocking the connection is ending and serving its purpose and time. The masculine is really feeling that regret and remorse and is ready to make that commitment and connection to you in this unconditional love um, into union. So I'm already shuffling through. We have the angel of love. So this card indicates um, a person coming towards you of romantic interest, someone with feelings uh, that they're in love, that they love you. So this angel is, is serving as a sign for that person that there is still that deep love for you and that they may have been in denial about their feelings and they're starting to accept those feelings of love. Rest and rejuvenation. So this is, um, to me, this is healing. Um, the masculine is working on healing and rejuvenating and resting and um, there is going to be a lot to heal from which, you know, we had temperance, so it's going to take some time and patience. Um, and that is going to be worth it, though. They're going to come back to you full in spirit and whole and loving themselves and is going to be a very powerful, harmonious union. Okay, so let's get... Look at that. And we do have anxiety here at the bottom. So the masculine is feeling a lot of sadness, loneliness, and anxiety for what has come to pass for everything that has occurred in this connection that has just been their total regret and loss. And look, we do have woman holding a heart. So you are still holding their heart. You are still the feminine for them, the one that holds their love. So um, this is almost like saying, don't ever question the worth of you, that the masculine thinks little of you, or that, you know, um, there is no real connection because this is that true love. This is that, con that unconditional love um, that the masculine is um, healing to and recognizing and accepting and starting to realize so there is still this powerful powerful love and you still are in their heart and you hold their heart you're still the one that they think about every morning they wake up and every night that they go to sleep okay so some financial constraints oh i like this Oh, not this, but I mean this part here. So some finances have been affecting this connection for you guys. It has been a factor in blocks and in um, any, you know, ghosting or non-communication or just that they haven't been seeming, you know, themselves or, or however, you know, is, it has been manifesting in the connection. Um, is a lot due to these financial constraints and financial times and hardships that um, many of us, in including the masculine, has been in. But here I'm seeing a time of success, a time of a blossoming abundance. We have cornucopia. So what was, you know, what was um, empty and I mean, there's cobwebs and everything, barely anything there, is going to blossom, is going to turn into um, having a lot. Okay, so this is going to help the connection. It is going to help them to be more stable, which um, is going to help them feel more confident in coming back into this connection and reaching out to you. So those financial constraints were really, really affecting this connection but we have everything coming through with this energy that is going to lift that burden and help this connection to flow much more smoothly. And we have goddess of the moon. So you here, this is a, reminds me of the empress or the divine feminine tarot here. So yeah, your energy is very heavy with them right now. You're definitely intuitively um, connecting with them in the 5D and the dream realm. There is... Um, a lot of communication going on there and they're definitely connecting to your spirit to your essence and it's helping them to um to move forward and to heal for this connection lots of love still there 
Um, if anything, it's it's more, you know, it's amplified. And let's get your... And the ones coming up here, we do have growth at the bottom here. So the masculine is growing exponentially, <laughs> which is a really good thing. We have sparks and unfinished business. Wow, so sparks flying. This kind of reminds me of the July 4th um, or where it's whenever or wherever it might be celebrated. Just saying that that's kind of like a timeline, um, which is coming up in July. That reminds me again of the portals and such. So to me, there is still so much attraction and affection there. So much love and uh, just chemistry between the two of you that's explosive. And there maybe they have been whereas they were kind of vacant before or void of emotion or they felt like they couldn't feel much because of how much was going on for them now they're really feeling again like this intensity of the connection they're really feeling your energy um and their emotions are exploding again that love is really they're opening themselves back up um and it really is, they're thinking a lot about you. And we have unfinished business, been getting this a lot lately in the readings. So the masculine basically left you off. Um, maybe you didn't expect it. And maybe it was, uh, you know, you had to leave or they left or just you guys have not had um, communication. And there's been this separation here. And it was so many things left unsaid. There are so many things that were not completed between the two of you. Obviously, some you know some of you in the um, collective here have not had that physical union, um, or have been away from each other for a while now, and this here just tells me this you know painting. You guys, we have a painting in the back too, um, and they left it unfinished, and the masculine wants to come back in to finish this with you, to come into that true union. Um, you know, to really connect back with you. Um, and I honestly feel this way that they want this to come back together um, and finish where you guys started or where it began. And there's still so much desire and intensity in this connection. Um, and it just makes them want to come back in even faster, quicker. That kind of reminds me of, you know, when you're holding it, the spark, it goes out really quickly. And so it's kind of like there's this intensity. There's this incredible pull to come back towards you um, to act quickly again with that um, desire to, 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 ha to have action for them to act. Okay, a leg up. So this one is talking about divine uh, spiritual guidance. So the masculine is definitely being helped to be picked back up again. So as we saw with um, the financial constraints and the cornup cornucopia, um, the masculine definitely is getting a leg up here. They're getting help from spirit, from the divine to help them make this decision and come back towards you. Um, poised and ready to take on what comes their way, helping them to stand up tall and to go for their desires, to manifest their desires, um, to and to stand firm is how would I feel about that. So we have happy, happy, okay, so kind of like that, that wishing star here. So whatever is going on in your connection, the masculine, and you are going to receive what you desire, what you've been wanting, a dream come true, wish fulfillment here. We have all these beautiful colors. It reminds me of the chakra system. Um, this egg reminds me of rebirth, renewal, and new beginnings. So you guys are definitely lucky because this is really going to come together and realign as it's meant to and supposed to. Things are going to change, okay? A change in the wind. Change is coming for the, into this connection 
for happiness and wholeness and union. Okay, chop wood. Again, another symbol of changes. The broom is a symbol for change, that a change is coming. So wherever your connection was at before, it definitely is going to take you by surprise. Um, and there's going to be a lot of joy and happiness and celebration in this reunion, as we saw with the tarot by the book. Okay, so maybe a lot of things were done by the book with your masculine in the ins and outs, uh, living the same life, doing the same thing, being with the same people. And this is going to be a huge shift. There is going to be a huge change in this. They might go off script and start to lead with their heart, start to really be guided in other ways versus just the status quo by the book type of script. And it's going to be what leads them to happiness and wholeness. And we have regeneration for healing. So more healing is happening for your masculine. Um, there's going to be a lot of change, um, a lot of healing happening for your masculine, and it's going to help bring you guys closer. And it's obviously going to change a lot of things. So where there was this destruction and pain and suffering, there's going to be this healing and renewal of life in this connection and with you and your masculine. I do love those coming together there. Let's get our Pining Rose um, oracles here by Amy, um, my spiritual friend, um, and she makes beautiful uh, oracle and tarot decks as well. She's been a huge inspiration for me, the Calico Moon oracle. All right, so for... have signs at the bottom of the deck so they might be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities um, about you lately songs um, numbers names people that look like you they're seeing a lot of signs for you in this connection making them miss you a lot sense your energy and presence and you may be feeling this as well um entanglement so there could be this um i feel like you guys are so intertwined so powerfully and this person is just happy and at peace with this connection um, that you guys are kind of come together in this completion so there's this beautiful entanglement of energy between you and your twin right now um and you guys are maybe the intensity of your connection is growing right now so we have divine timing yet again here so everything is going to happen in that divine timing, guys, and the clock is ticking at its own pace. So just be patient. This is coming through. This is pulling through. Don't give up yet. Or, I mean, you can, you should never give up. I'm just saying, like, don't, don't let that, you know, get to you. It is um, going to take its time in its own course, but I feel like the energy is picking up pace, though. I feel like that action is... Um, or that need for action, that desire for action from your masculine is really helping the time to, you know, things to develop a lot faster. So the subconscious, again, with those dreams, you guys are probably having dreams about one another, a shared dreaming. Um, they're sensing you in the 5D telepathically. Um, so all of that is a big part of this connection right now um, that you guys are really sensing that presence of one another and they're deeply wanting you and missing you right now so this really just tops off everything that we've been talking about how the masculine is intensely desiring you in this moment there's this huge entanglement of your guys's energy and it's so close right now and we have reversible okay so any any damage that has been done anything that has really pulled you guys apart, caused this separation, is reversible. It's something that the masculine really wants to work at changing, really wants to reverse. They're feeling, like I said, that regret um, of this happening. And Spirit is saying that, you know, no matter what's happened, um, 
that it can you guys can still be brought back together that there can still be this reunion and reconciliation it is irreversible um obviously you can't you never forget what happens or the ghosting or the hurt or you know however has been happening for you guys um but that this will come back together as it is meant to in its own time might just take some time to heal we have secret knowledge i'm learning about our connection this is the uh, twin flame separation deck um masculine is definitely learning more ascending more um, understanding and accepting more in this connection healing your energy is healing me so your masculine is healing that um, energy anything that they have uh, been having fears and you know the pain and the trauma childhood traumas um, or just traumas from relationships you are helping them to heal to move forward, to break free of those chains and bonds from whatever happened in order to move forward in this connection with you. I must learn. Let's get that separation energy. We have inner demons. I'm fighting my ego and inner demons. Yep. So they're fighting off all the fears. They're fighting off that ego that's just been damaging so many things in their life. They're working through the shadows. They're working through their, um, they're working in levels to heal everything. Um, and they're fighting for this connection. They're fighting for this union. Um, they're rising above their old ego, above their forms here of the past. Your masculine is working on healing and transcending from the old, from the egotistical masculine that is the negative type of masculine behavior. So they're working on transforming and transcending this um, to come into their, um, more into that unconditional love, um, which is where you guys want to be at meaning the divine is showing me my purpose so their purpose and mission is being shown here we had divine um, that leg up that spirit is showing your masculine guiding your masculine through this process we have yin and yang we are one and union the divine is planning our union so that's pretty amazing your masculine feels like you guys are one this is meant to be true everlasting love and the divine is planning that union for you guys to come together, like I said, in that um, harmony, in that complete harmony and union, inner union, self-love, and as well as that physical union, because you guys are one with this yin and yang. All right, guys, so let's get some signs and symbols, possible letters for names. two f's here we have france as a possibility for location or some kind of significance um, of your connection but if it doesn't resonate for you then some of these others might we have family so your masculine could find family really important could have an importance with family or um, they could have a family themselves children um, could be married currently or um, just connected to family in a strong way. And then we have proposal for another offer here. We had romantic offering. We get this proposal. So again, this kind of reminds me of a meeting, a reconciliation of you guys coming back together. And family could be a big deal for them, could be something maybe that was blocking the connection or that they had a responsibility for. However it resonates, just take what does. And then France for a possible location for you guys, um, maybe a past life energy or um, just the significance for someone out there in this connection. And let's see, 
I haven't used this one a lot, but I want to look, see if there are any um, other like, energy for the connection. This is my witch's something. I forgot what it was called. But it kind of has like symbols from old stories and such. I kind of get the energy. We have justice. In case this reminds me of the justice card. Um, that there is going to be a balance of that karma, that um, things are going to, the wheel, that karmic wheel is going to um, really end those cycles, that balance of this connection is going to come and change the direction of where things currently were. And we have pond, okay, so for healing, again, that pond, um, that healing that is taking place, and then, of course, we have more change that is coming for this connection um, with that justice here, a balance um, of that karma, and then a pond for healing and for um, light and love and, I guess, you know, that connection between you guys. So, I'm going to, as always, get your Pining Rose Crush for this connection. So, <laughs> having fantasies. So yes, again, that intense desire, your masculine is still, still having those fantasies for you. It's kind of secretly admiring you from afar, watching you from a distance. They have those incredible fantasies and daydreams. I've been purposefully putting myself in places you go just for a chance to see you. So for many of you, your masculine may be kind of on the lookout for you, maybe thinking they'll bump into you or run into you somewhere that you've gone before. Um, they've been trying to run into you, to talk to you, to communicate. And for some of you out there, your masculine has just been so distracted with everything that is going on. They haven't been able to maybe contact or make a connection with you or communication um, because there has been this responsibility, this distractions, you know, family, whatever it is, kind of keeping them um, away from you in this connection. And But they're thinking about you intensely, desiring you, um, and those thoughts never stop for them. So let's get your masculine mirror message. This world is beautiful, but the flaws of humankind weigh me down. So yeah, the flaws of humankind, this 3D world that you guys are living in, the masculine's having a hard time grasping onto or dealing with karmic or external forces, okay? They're having a hard time dealing with the um, toxicities and negativities of the world. And this is part of what's really been affecting them and their energy and keeping them distracted away from you in this connection. So the masculine sees the beauty of you, sees the beauty of this world all around them, but yet the external forces are really weighing them down in this connection. Let's get the pen of heart messages and your 5D love messages. I'm afraid of what others may say or think. I know I shouldn't, but I uh, care, but I do. So the reason your masculine hasn't reached out to you or hasn't made a move or taken action is because, again, that external force is weighing them down, distracted, family matters, things that are going on. They want to be with you. The masculine wants to take action, but they're afraid of that material world they're afraid of the social traditional constructs and things like that afraid of what people might say and here we have karma i feel like the universe is punishing me for how i treated you so the masculine feels punished in many ways or they feel again there's that balance justice and karma and the masculine feels like they're learning a lot of lessons right now and a lot of it that tower moment feeling that pain feeling the intensity of this connection but they can't reach out or maybe they miss opportunity with you and there's so much regret and suffering and struggles for you and this connection and they feel being they're being punished so it's kind of just how they're feeling right now So no one else compares to you, feminine. Maybe they've tried to move on. They've tried to reestablish that old relationship or a partnership that they're in, but no one compares to you. And look at this amazing, I miss being comforted by 
you. We had comfort and warmth. And again, we were just saying how the masculine really misses that physical comfort. They miss your warmth. They miss your presence. You inspire me to be the best version of myself. So whatever is going on, no matter what's happening, you are helping them to be a better version. You are helping and inspiring them to, um, to heal themselves and to fix the mess or the damage, the things that have been going on. No one else is comparing to you. They miss your comfort, your warmth. They miss this connection the way things were, how it used to be. But you're helping them to heal and to be a better version of themselves. What is Neptune's desire for the feminine? I love these cards that I have. The masculine desires. Look at that divine feminine. Wow, that's incredible. We have wearing a mask. So Divine Feminine, um, I need your strength, warmth, and unconditional love. So the masculine, again, warmth and comfort. Wow, they're just craving your presence right now. Fairy tales, I dream of our fairy tale ending. I'm defeating the evil queen to have our happily ever after. So the masculine is working on defeating those external forces, defeating that karmic power or whatever has been holding him back, whatever has been blocking this connection, the masculine dreams of this true unconditional love. They dream of having their happy ending with you. Wearing a mask, don't hide your feelings from me. So maybe you've never had the opportunity or chance to come forward to your masculine with your feelings. Um, they could have been masking their feelings as well, but I feel like they're saying like, if you, you know, with this opportunity to express yourself, don't hide your feelings away from the masculine. They want you to express yourself and your emotions and your feelings as well um, and to not hide from them or, or be afraid or fearful of revealing your feelings. Okay, guys, so that is what I have for you all. Thank you so, so much for being here. Like, share, and subscribe. Look at the description how you can win a free reading for personal readings and for any decks that you guys are interested in if you resonate. Um, you guys are so amazing. I appreciate all my um, contributors, all of you guys who have been there for me and for this channel. Um, lots of new stuff coming up, so don't forget to hit notifications um, and look at the community board for updates and such. And you can also go to my website. So thanks so much. Um, stay safe out there. Leave a beautiful comment um, or whatever you want to do and I appreciate you guys and I look forward to the next time um, for your next reading.